Here is a demo of the banking cube. We've got a 3D printed prototype. The shape of the cube can be changed as per requirement and the size can be reduced. It has got a 5 volt micro USB charging point which can be charged using any Android phone charger. It's got a soft base for you to keep it on any table. The cube glows red in color when it is not connected to internet. All these colors of course can be changed as per the requirement. Now let me take my Android phone and connect it to the internet. So this is the setup process. Now the board will transmit its own Wi-Fi. The cube transmits its own Wi-Fi hotspot and I can connect to this particular hotspot using its password. This hotspot name is actually the unique ID of every single device which ensures that only correct data is sent to a proper device. Now it shows it's connected. Now to connect it to my Wi-Fi router at home I'll, as I first connected it to its hotspot, I will start the NetPlug app. The NetPlug app APIs are open so you can use it in your own bank net banking app. Also it can be used for the setup process. Here it shows me the device so I'll click and I'll start it. Now it will show me a screen to enter the Wi-Fi username and the password. So my Wi-Fi, I've just set it up as Wi-Fi name and the password is password. This is the Wi-Fi username and password of my home router so that the bolt, the cube can get connected to my home network. It also has got a field to enter my unique customer ID so that the device is linked to only a particular user's account. When the device restarts with the credentials, it will get connected to internet. Now the light, red light has gone off indicating that it has been now connected to the Wi-Fi router. You can see I've placed the Wi-Fi router right behind it. It could, the router generally could be anywhere in your home or in your office. Now let us go ahead and do a demo transaction. I've created a page on InstaMojo and I'll use my card to make the payment. Now let me go ahead click on buy now this is just a demo account we created so that the transaction uh, trial transaction can be done uh, I'll fill in my details uh, my name uh, the email address it's also asking me for the shipping address uh, city state the postal code is just a dummy details which I'm entering uh, here and I'll click next now it's asking me to choose the payment method I've selected debit card so now let me use my card and enter the details uh, for this particular part I will just blur the screen so that my details are not uh, visible I'll enter my details such as the card number expiry date and CVV number. The banking queue can work not just for a debit card usage but also for any credit card, net banking, ATM withdrawal, POS swipe and even the payment apps. Each of these type of transaction will have a different color associated with it. This time for the debit card usage we have given the blue color so the LED will glow in blue. After I have entered the details, I will click on checkout. Now I have to wait to get the OTP password on my phone. Okay, I received it. Uh, let me check and I'll, I'll just enter the details on the screen.
Okay, I have entered the details. Now that the transaction has gone through, uh, let's just wait for a few seconds. I'll say okay to that. And the transaction has gone through now, the payment successful and immediately the cube will glow, indicating that there has been a transaction. The blue color signifies that it's been a debit card transaction. However, these colors can be interchanged. I've also got an SMS saying that there has been a banking transaction at my end. Since the transaction was legitimate, I simply have to tap on the cube to accept. Let me just go ahead and do that. So when I tap on it, the lights will go away, indicating that the transaction has been correct. If I had not done the transaction, I will immediately call up my bank. Thank you for watching.